Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to this uh, new playlist. I mean in this playlist we are also going to talk about authentication, authorization, different type of authentication and all. So I already have covered a lots of videos on Auth0. Auth0 is authentication provider. But I got a feedback that I should cover some basic videos also which talks about authentication and authorization using Nest.js like uh, username password based authentication session, cookies, uh, token based authentication then I'm going to cover some advanced stuff also like SSO SAML based uh, integration. So you know uh, what is a simple authentication? Authentication is a way of verifying that you are the one you are the one who say you are. It's what let you access your accounts, your website, your emails and everything, right? So typically we use password based authentication still on lots of platform. The most common type of authentication is password, right? A weak password can be guessed easily. That's why expert recommend that you should have a complex password, right? With the, all these uppercase, lowercase and special characters and all. Then we have a two factor based authentication where you add an extra layer of security on top of that 2FA. 2FA, it is known as a 2FA. And in most of the website uh, or you are either carry a hardware token or you have this authenticator app on your phone or you get a OTP on your mobile. So these are the different vari variants of two factor authentication. Then biometric authentication, just another hardware layer, layer security. Then we have a token based authentication, right? So Token is nothing but once you logged in, you will receive an authorization token. And through that, you can access your, let's say, your locker or your account or something. Then we have a single sign-on. Like, uh, you might have seen this, right? You are logging into different websites through your own personal social account. I'm able to log into my uh, pet uh, care app using my Google account, right? So that is a single sign-on. So this is the, all these topics I'm going to cover. Auth0, I have already covered. Now, what is the major aspects which I will be covering. I will be covering first basic authentication which is a username password through three different segments. Session based, cookie based and token based authentication because people aware okay how to do authentication but they don't know the, the, the difference. What is session based, what is cookie based and what is token based and how they differ. How you are managing session at the client side. How you are sending the authorization token either in the session, in the cookies or using JWT token in the authorization header. So session based uh, uh, authentication, a user logging into a website and the server creating a session as a server ID being stored at the server. You can also store the session at the server in some database, right? User login, server create a session, server send a session to the user's browser. Now on every consecutive request, browser needs to send the session ID to the user. So session based authentication we will cover using Express Nest.js. That's part one. Cookie based authentication, cookies are very small, right? This is also happening in the same way. User logs in, user uh, server sends a cookies to the browser. Then cookies is stored and sent back with each and every request. The, the browser checks the cookies, validates the user and allow him to access the uh, his account or his profile. I mean, you clear out the cookies, cookies are no more or cookies expired, you got to log out. Token based authentication, it is also like very popular JSON web token authentication, right? It actually you get a create, you receive some kind of a JWT, right? JWT, it, it contains the header payload and the signature. That's actually the string, uh, the big long string, the token string. So user log into the server, server generates the token. The token is sent to the user's device, right? Now user sends the token with each and every request in the authorization header. So that the, the token which user is sending is telling the server okay this user is auth uh, authenticated already using username password he has received a token from me so server needs to validate the token okay whatever the token is coming in the request is granted by me is validated by me if valid then only i will allow him to grant access right so this is all about three different ways of session based cookie based and token based i got a feedback so i am going to cover these first then we have already covered uh, basic authentication, authorization, role based and access control based. Then I'm going to cover really very important topic SSO SAML. What is SSO? What is SAML? How the open ID connect? These are really advanced topics which I'm going to cover because my YouTube channel is not for just learning very basic stuff. 